Hi folks, James DeGraff here. Just finished reading The Ultimate Hiker's Gear Guide, written by none other than Andrew Skirka, Adventurer of the Year. In his book he talks a lot about the systems that he uses, his cook systems, his clothing systems, his sleeping systems. What I'd like to go over a little bit today is my own personal Ultimate Hiker's cook system. It starts with a Cuban fiber stuff set. Very durable, very light. It keeps all the contents of this system together. Inside, we see the light load towel that helps to keep all the contents of this pot from rattling around, and it also helps to protect the inside of the pot. Inside, we have half a Lexan spoon. It fits better into the pot this way. The Lexan also helps to protect the nonstick coating of the pot, and there's a hole drilled in it to make it lighter. Next is a windscreen. It's a four inch tall windscreen that I picked up from anti-gravity gear. It's a bit more rugged than the tin foil, which Andrew Skirka suggests you use. The mini Bic lighter, great for lighting alcohol stoves. It has the gas flame for lighting fires, for lighting the alcohol stove, and it can still throw sparks even if you run out of fuel. The Cat Food Fancy Feast alcohol stove. It's made from a three ounce Fancy Feast aluminum can. I've taken the cat food out, obviously, and gone ahead and just using a regular pair of office hole punches, cut in two rows of 16 holes each. Now with this finished, the stove will hold a little more than an ounce of fuel. Plenty to get two cups of water to boil. It's a 900 milliliter ever new titanium pot with a non-stick coating inside. It has some long handles with silicone grips on the ends to help keep from burning your fingers. The wide, shallow nature of this pot lends itself nicely to working in conjunction with the Fancy Feast stove. It creates a low, stable platform. Let's take a look at how this system works all together. Pouring in a little more than half an ounce of alcohol. Two cups of cold tap water. When lighting this stove, it's best to use your pointer finger to get the bic to light. And approach it from a sideways angle. Otherwise, if you try and use your thumb and go in from the top, you're just going to end up burning your thumb. Because of the long handles on the pot, we can take advantage of the flame that's still created by the alcohol. Warming up the pot over the flame helps to prevent from putting too cold of a pot on too hot of a stove and having the cold pot suck all the heat out of the stove, snuffing the stove out. The stable flame created by the cat food stove is not escaping past the bottom of the pot. Other narrower pots like the Foster's or the Heineken are poor choices for the Fancy Feast stove since most of the flames would escape up past the side. Just after five minutes now we've got two cups of water coming to a pretty hard boil. We'll let the clock keep going and see how long it takes for this to burn itself out now. Looks like we have a flame out now at about six and a half minutes. I would choose this system over a super lightweight system because for a few extra ounces I get the durability and simplicity I need as an ultimate hiker.